How to learn any skill according to Stanford legend Andrew Huberman. We are designed to change. All of us are born with a nervous system that isn't just capable of change, but is designed to change. For a long time, it was assumed that only the young brain is plastic and can change. But scientific research is now very clear. The adult brain is plastic. Your brain is not fixed. Instead, your brain can change in response to your experiences, thoughts and actions. This means that everyone can learn new skills fast, just exactly like a kid can. If you're under 25, you're in luck. Your nervous system is primed for learning. The best thing you can do is to expose yourself to as many people and fields as possible. Be open, interested and curious. When you're younger than 25, this happens naturally without much deliberate effort. Your brain is primed for change. When you're older than 25, you need to follow certain protocols in order to rewire your brain and get long-term change. This means we need to know exactly what we need to change. This is possible with these steps. No matter what you're trying to learn, we must be alert to trigger neuroplasticity. Getting alert involves many mechanisms, but mainly the release of epinephrine, so this is adrenaline, in the brain and body. One simple way to become more alert is 25 to 30 deep breaths. So inhales through the nose and exhales through the mouth. Then exhale your air and hold your breath with lungs empty for 15 to 60 seconds. Then inhale once and hold your breath. Next, we should get focused. To increase your level of focus on the task you are about to do, stare at a point on a wall or screen. And I'm saying literally just stare at a point or basically in any point for 30 to 60 seconds before starting some task. You can blink as needed. You will be surprised how this takes a bit of effort. That effort you feel is top-down, attentional engagement and reflects the activity of neural circuits involving acetylcholine released in the brain. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but yeah. Acetyl, acetylcholine. Yeah, I guess that's right. And other mechanisms too, of course. So expect your mental focus to flicker on and off, especially at the start of your working session. Obviously, having your phone off and out of the room and web browser closed can help. Step three is to insert micro rest intervals. So this is a non-obvious way to increase repetitions and learn faster. Studies have shown that when we are trying to learn something, if we pause every so often for 10 seconds and do nothing during the pause, neurons in the hippocampus and cortex areas of the brain involved in the learning and memory engage the same patterns of neural activity that occurred during the actual activity of reading, musical practice, skill training, but 10 times faster, meaning you get 10 times neural repetitions completed during the pause. These gap effects are similar to what happens in a deep sleep. The takeaway is this, randomly introduce 10 second pauses during learning. But remember, distribute it randomly. The trigger for optimal neuroplasticity and learning occurs when during high focus and high alertness state. Both are because of the release of neurochemicals acetylcholine and epinephrine. So you learn the best when you are in this high deep focus state. You don't want to be engaging your brain at maximum capacity all the time. We have already talked about importance of deep work and blocking out your time in big chunks. Solid research shows that 90 minutes is about the longest period we can expect to maintain intense focus and effort towards learning. Shorter bouts are fine, but after 90 minutes, take a break. Also, space intense learning sessions. So wait at least one hour when you finish your session to start the next session. Your attention will drift and that's extremely normal. Practice to re-anchor it. You'll feel tempted to look away from what you're working on, but as we discussed, you want to practice maintaining that visual focus. After a learning session, do a NSDR. So this is non-sleep deep rest. So two studies published in the last two years show that shallow naps or NSDR can enhance the rate and depth of learning. This is an easy practice to incorporate. Within one hour of completing a learning session, do a short NSDR protocol. Basically, what research is suggesting is that we take a nap for 20 to 30 minutes, and that way we will remember things much more clearly. 
get quality and sufficiently long deep sleep. The actual rewiring of neural circuits that underlies learning occurs during sleep and non-sleep deep rest, as we stated earlier, that is NSDR. Think of the learning sessions as the trigger or stimulus for the possibility that we might learn. But sleep and NSDR are when the actual learning happens, when the actual neural circuit rewiring occurs. Our goal should be to get sleep right at least 80% of the time. It takes some work to get there, but it is well worth it. You should really focus on getting that quality sleep, getting that quality deep work done. And also don't forget the focus technique. This is where you focus on one spot for one minute, then you just wait a bit and then you just go and do your work. So hope you guys find this helpful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.